Hey, what's up, guys? This is Chung here. Uh, today, let's take a look at another uh, lead code problem, uh, number 659, uh, split array into consecutive subsequences. Okay, so let's let's take a look. Uh, so you're given like an array of numbers and sorted right in ascending order. Uh, return true. And if only true, you can split it into one or more subsequences, such each subsequences consists of consecutive integers and has a length of at least three. Right. So what does it mean? It means that you need to at least uh, split this, uh, this array into uh, one or more subarrays whose uh, length is equal greater than three. For example, this one, you can split into one, two, three, and three, four, five, and both of the length are are three. Same same one here, right? There are some duplicate numbers here, but you have like uh, one, two, three, four, uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then uh, three, four, five, right? The last one you can't because let's say you have one, two, three, right? Or but four, four, five is not like uh, consecutive integers, but for one, two, three, four is okay. So this one is the uh, is a valid substream, but four and five the length is less than three, right? So and okay, so let's say how can we uh, how could how can we think about this, this problem, right? I mean. If you watch this, like, uh, if you take a look at these numbers one by one, right? At each number, there will, there will be only two options, right? So this number can either be a, if this one, if this number can either be a, append to the previously splitted subarray, right? Basically, we add this one to the end of that, or this thing could be a, at the beginning of a new array. Right, and then this number is a valid, it's a valid number, right? Other, if none of the, those uh, can, scenarios works, then it simply failed, right? Simply return false. Why, right? Right. Let's take a look here. So, let's say for one, two, three, four. For for example, this for this array. Let's say we start from the first number here, right? Uh, so basically, we'll be uh, having like two two hash maps here. The first one will be storing the counter, the counter of the, uh, of all the numbers here. And then the second one will be, uh, like the end. <coughs> Excuse me. It'll be the end here. So, so the first one is, is pretty obvious. So basically we store all the, the count for each numbers. So the end here, what is the end? And stores at for the current number, number number right. How many uh, how many uh, sub sequences end at this number? Right. Basically, that can tell us. Okay, if we have a a sub sequences end at this number, right. Basically, we use this one to track to track all the uh, the already split subarrays that have this uh, have this number as the ending position, right? So for example, if we go uh, start from one here, so from one at the beginning, this end uh, hash map will be empty, right? And then basically if if the one can be uh, apparent to any ending and like a pretty previously split in a subarray, no, then we check if one can be at the start of a new subarray, right? So the subarray will be starting one, two, three, right? Basically, we check if the next number and next number and the number next to next number has like a has the count count uh, remaining, right? If it does, then we just uh, uh, the, uh, remove remove this number two and number three from the counters, and then we add this three, right? We add this three to this end uh, end sub uh, hash maps, right? 
and then from two we do it again right we see if the two has like a number if the two is it's not it's empty right if the counter of two is empty we simply skip that right which it means we already uh process this number and then three three four four until uh either of the condition e uh, neither of the condition fail and then we just return false uh, okay, I'll try to explain these things here. So first, we're gonna have a counter, right? We just do a counter collections dot counter. Do a numbers, right? Basically, this will give us all the, the count for each numbers, and then we're gonna have like an end uh, default. Mm. <coughs> integer right basically that's the, the end count for this uh, and we just simply loop through the numbers here right in numbers mm, if first right first we check if the current number has a has any count remaining right if counter right, if counter like for this number has a value right, if it has a value, then we continue. Otherwise, we simply skip that right, and then we do what we are. Uh, we we check right if the uh, if there if the previous one because that's the current. Let's say for example, if the current number is three right, if the number is three, so first we check. Not not three. No, three is not a good example. Let's see. Uh, the current number is five. So first we check if there's any sub arrays that end with four, right? If we have that, we always try to append this five into that previously arrays end, right? That basically that's the the greedy concept here. Uh, as long as we can append the current number to the to one of the previously splitted subarray, we always do that. Otherwise, if we cannot append to the previously splitted subarray, then we'll try to uh, start a new subarray from this number onward. Right. So that's why we do a. Uh, how do we check if we can append the previously and uh, split it separated? So that's how that's when we use this end uh, and a hash map here. We check right if the the previously number has anything in this end hash map, right? If it is, then we know okay. So we can we can uh, append this five to the previous endings, right? So what do we do? We do a uh, so basically, after okay, after appending this five to the previously uh, split subarray, two things will happen, right? First, the current, the number of the current number, the end array will be increased by one, right? Because okay, now we have a new end, new endings here at the, at number five, and we also need to re decrease the numbers of the previously number by one. Right, because now we are assuming. Okay, so now this four is is not the the end, it's not a tail anymore, right? Now the five is the one. So that's why we do these two things, right? And else if, right? Else if what? If we cannot append, then we will need to try to uh, start a new subarray, sp split a new subarray starting. Starting from the current, the current number five, right? Then what do we do? Since the numbers has to be consecutive, so we need to check if if the counter, right? If the counter uh, num plus one and and the counter, right? Num plus two, right? That's that's what we need to check because we need to check if there is still available six and seven left in the counters right then we'll just do a what we first we we remove those numbers from the counters first right then minus one right and then counters number 
2 minus 1, right? And then what now we have a new new end, right? So now once we started a new like uh, we split out a new subarray, now we, we have a new ending here, right? The new ending will be num plus 2, right? Uh, plus 1, right? Else, right? Else, if neither of them is, we can do neither of them, then it means there's no way we can put the current number to any of the subarray, right? So which means we'll be returning a false here, right? And in the end, we just return true, right? If everything is can be processed without, without any issue, then we, then we return true. Let's see. Default. Oh, default, default dictionary here. Uh. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so I think I forgot one step here, so uh, yeah, every time once we uh, process these numbers, we have to, uh, yeah, we have to uh, also remove the current number from the counter's hash map, right, dictionary, or if you want to, you want to call that, yeah, yeah, I think this, this is the line we missed here, well, yeah, if we want to, like, uh, avoid missing these lines, we can always do, do this one at the beginning, so, so we won't forget in the end, right? We can always do this, right? So when we write the code, sometimes, okay, if we thought, okay, so this is something I want to do, may, try to write it the moment you think about it, right? You thought about it, otherwise, later on, you probably forget about that, right? Cool, let's try to run it. Yeah, so it passed. So basically, um, uh, I did, idea here is that uh, we have to uh, observe this array and try to come up with these two uh, scenarios for for a specific number right either we append to the previously splitted subarray right we always try this one first and then if we, if we can we will try to start uh, split uh, a new array uh, from the starting point, right? If none of them works, then we simply return true, false. Otherwise, we just, we just return true. Uh, yeah, cool. I think that's it uh, for this problem. I uh, thank you so much for watching the video. And let me know if you guys have any que questions or suggestions or any anything you, want, you guys want to say. And I'll be seeing you guys soon. Thank you.